Hello, everybody. Welcome to game number 17. Down TV versus Chaos. But not down by much because of the two uh, Linos. It's Will King. He's got a claw palm tackle. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank God he had those extra two SBPs here. Could have just not had those, but never mind. Uh, <laughs> Cry for God's great name for it. And he's got a strength up, a claw mighty, a guard. He's got a ball carrier. He's 19-10-4, so he's... He's not qualifying, but uh, he certainly hasn't lost a lot. Uh, Chaos uh, qualifiers have been excellent this season. I mean, I guess I've got to get a bib. Yeah, it seems a bit of a... Bit of a poor team and a bit of a poor record. I mean, only a bit of a poor in terms of qualifying, of course. It, overall, it's good. Let this be a lot better without the tackle pommel, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, you take 40 SP, fit take 40 TV off his team, it's just a lot worse. Like, it's weird the way it works like that, isn't it? What's also weird is that I'm fucking freezing despite it being pretty warm outside. I'm fucking freezing. Yeah, you know what I mean is like. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, 60 TV it just makes, like, all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Like, it's crazy. And that's why I find it pretty stupid when people say, like, ooh, 1500 cha chaos is when they're really good. And it's like, well, you don't know when they're good, because it just depends... just depends when they get it, doesn't it? You know, if they're... If, if they're 1400 with, with a claw pommel, they're good. If they're 1600 without a claw pommel, they're not good. <laughs> You can't say what TV or okay, is good. It's when they've got a claw pommer. And even then, he's got tackle as well for this one. It's tragic, really. It's an absolute tragedy. But he's only got 11 men. He's only got 11, so something could happen. Oh, that's a warrior, isn't it? Kazd. Woohoo! That's pretty lucky, and it's a miss next, so he can't apo it. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, he did apo it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't apo it. <laughs> if you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? <laughs> Look at dog. Look at dog. He got the touch back. <laughs> oh dear. It's a band of extra arms. The extra arms is a great name for a pub, though, isn't it? Holy shit. Just foul him here if he piles. Doesn't. Got to really be careful with the strength four in the edge five now. And the blood stepper. <laughs> Surprisingly, he didn't just hit the LOS guy, isn't it? I guess it's good to hit higher value players, but still. Oh, good. Instant Kaz. 
<rire> C'est pour ça que j'adore ce jeu. Use my imaginary wizard now, it'd be pretty good. Pretty good imaginary wizard right about now. A big guy dragon, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Herp derp, base, 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 this won't fail, I'm on the rake, burp, burp, burp. Is this Tony? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jimmy's a long time folder is full of <laughs> dead skinks, all cheerleaders, audio of Christopher and Sage, and high elf wins. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's good, isn't it? He's blitzing a he's blitzing a journeyman. Woo. Flip me, guy. That's great because although we're down to nine players for the rest of the match, at least it wasn't a good player who died. Woo. Two cousin three turns. Flip me, guys. This is going great. We're loving it. Woo. Woo hoo hoo. 
Love nothing more than just having my player sacrifice to claw come every single turn. Absolutely zero counter play. Woo! Really fun. Woo! Chunter has done amazing, hasn't he? No follow. Woo. Actual wooing. I guess I should have blitzed this guy back and then the push could have gone there, couldn't it? I wouldn't give him away this hit on the high elf. So I'm sure now the catcher will get cast as just reward for doing that. That slight mistake will end up in a cast elf, that seems both standard and completely fair. No. I'm not actually dead. Two stuns there means that something could happen next turn, maybe. Yeah, BB3, they're never piling on, are they? Madness. Yep, so blitz is the, uh, blitz is the lowness, so that's good, isn't it? At least controlling who, who's getting smashed to bits. 40 TV down, Fermi. Which, you know, if, the, if that 40 was the block and tackle of the claw pommer, would be alright, wouldn't it? But it's not. So that 40 more TV he's got is pretty fucking good. Four plus for a two D. Oh, 
I'll just blitz the front and surround. I guess blitz the front and surround is the safer, safer option, isn't it? I could be serious for a minute. Superbe action! Il s'est faufilé comme une savonnette ah, à travers le trou de la défense adverse! Comment ça? Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas trop si c'est ça. I don't really care if it's right. I mean, that's a lot in the way, isn't it? And if he gets out of it, he gets out of it. Good for him. Yeah, it was my re-roll. Pushes him to push it. This won't <laughs> fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. He's got a hand, dodge handoff player, hasn't he? Which isn't even hard. Maybe I overcommitted. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept something over there. As much as possible, I could have kept something over there. Oh wow! I think he should have handed off to this guy, shouldn't he? Should it, shouldn't he have gone? I guess he couldn't reach there. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, yeah. So this is the one that he hands off to, and then goes over the way over there. And it's looking hard to catch him. He could fail this. It's possible that he fails a 3 2, isn't it? Or the 3 handoff. Could fail one of these rolls. Nope. He could fail one of these rolls. No. Nope. Blocked his path, though. No move for. So he really should have done the GFIs to hand off to the other one, though. Oh, 
Je sens que ça va partir en sucette. Mais quelle fusée Cet elfe nous voit gracieusement entre les joueurs adverses, le tout avec le sourire. Que d'arrogance Bon oh, quel casse de joie Voilà un joueur qui est bon pour rester sur la touche un bout de temps. Wouhou Can't hit him. Tw I need two scoring threats, otherwise he just blitzes. Oh, I guess this way he hasn't got the tackle blitz. One, two, three. Might as well do a GFI. Ah, oh, no, because he can do it afterwards. Occupy this warrior, I guess. I just like stay in the way, general way here. It was a good turn, wasn't it? Yeah, lack of ones. Quite like that. Fuck it. Ah, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It was alright, yeah. yeah. It was all right. <laughs> It was not a right turn, yeah. The only bad thing was basing this guy because I was going to block him, and then I realised if I blocked him, I wouldn't have two scoring threats. But I guess it still stops him tackling one of these two. But yeah, I, I miss. This was a miss. Miss base, I think. Okay, got away with it. And now he definitely can't hit with his tackle. He can't hit. Can't even get his tackle around these guys now. Which is wonderful. Yeah, I guess so, Charlie. Well, maybe he's not, though, right? I guess if he if he had stood here, then he would have had to have gone one, two. If, he, if he'd been... He was here, wasn't he, and blocked him. So he could have stood there, and then the Corbin would have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. He could have double GFI'd, blitzed him. So I could have GFI'd with him, and then put stood that guy there, and then the Corbin would have just had to blitz the loner, if anybody. So I think that was definitely better to have kept him there. Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Yeah, it does suck a bit that he gets a chain. Chain the strength fall back a square now, doesn't he? 
Yeah, that's true. That is true. But if there's only one and he gets pommed, then there's no scoring threats. So I definitely needed two guys that could get pommed. <laughs> Didn't I? Like, if I just want run one guy up, he gets pommed and then there's no score. Like, this guy... The Edge 5 can tilt, still technically score, but it's loads of GFIs, isn't it? It's like three GFIs for him to score. So it's like much easier to uh, do a pass or something. So now the claw bomb is definitely not hanging out. So now the question is what to do. He goes there, doesn't he? And now it's the big one, the <laughs> the loner dodge. Woohoo! All right. And now there are two scoring threats. And no tackle to hit them. Kinda of sucks at the Maybe I should have moved the Arch Five first and handed off to him. I don't know. Obviously he might not even get the knockdown here. Yeah, but he's strength four, isn't he? Strength four ball carry with blood, so Okay. And he gets the power. Right, so he can go there and then I can 1D blitz with him. Oh no, he's got guard, so I'm just going to dodge with him anyway. And then pass with the edge 5. That's the only play. If you ask me... Two plus pads. Whee! <laughs> I did take a break school for about like five, ten minutes. 
Got my head in the game, played great. Perfect eight turn stop. God, I fucking love Harry Ha ha ha! Yeah, no, I did say that's good. I was thinking of doing that. I didn't know which one to do, though. I didn't say the end of the stream, I said. I said I wasn't sure which one to do. I didn't know whether. Oh, I was thinking about taking a, like, whether to take a big break or not. Because it was a thing, I had like 170 viewers, so I thought it's a bit shit to just fuck off, isn't it? And then come back later, so I thought battle through the adversity and quite good, isn't it? Um, indeed so, indeed, that's the thing, right, I think it's better to try and be mentally strong than it is just to fucking nope out at the first sign of adversity, isn't it, so, I tried, oh wow, this is quite a nice quick score, isn't it, because we get to blitz him, and, uh, that could be very good indeed. So this is a dacker if it's a deep kick, and but if it's a short-ish kick, uh, get the edge five, bust through, and uh, let's go. And if it's a blitz over here, well, I'm fucked. Perfect ease, not a problem. Because it just goes into a DACA, doesn't it? The only problem is the blitz. So that's, that's brilliant. It's not brilliant. <laughs> Shouldn't have stacked that, should I? Whoops. Should not have stacked. Right. Good. Good. Uh, it 
didn't save two GFI. Uh, no, it's just a mistake. Just a mistake. Just a mistake, Jelly. Well done. I mean, I, I did want to have him back. I did want to have him back there. I'm like, yeah, okay. So, basically, I I wanted him to definitely be there and him to be the sidestep. So it would have saved it, but then it would have made. It was still taking something to get there anyway, wouldn't it? So he just got to go for his dodging with two heads. He's not even doing that. Il s'est fait poudrer. <rire> C'est bien comme ça que disent les jeunes de nos jours, non Exactly, I could have even powered his claw pommer as well. That would have been lovely, wouldn't it? The idea was to power his claw pommer and then uh, <laughs> and then mark him with a loner, but hey, the loner has to just eat the block. <laughs> Dice rolling guide. It was pretty. There were some pretty good dice rolls there. And the good thing is now he can't stop dice rolls, can he? Because the ball's in a nudge five, and there's essentially no way to stop it. <laughs> hey, apart from dub skulls, or double ones like that. Like you've got to re like you've. It's so stupid, but you've literally got to re-roll because otherwise you just lose. He's got a. He's got a hope for the quad. <laughs> The quad skulls now. <laughs> nope. Quad skulls on this team alone, isn't it? Oh dear me. Well, now it looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Now it looks pretty bad, this drive. <laughs> also oh, gets claw pop with tackle, so probably just dies as well. <laughs> oh! Not dead yet! Oh, okay, he rerolls. He's got the power. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey! You're telling me there's a chance! <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I'm going to post that on Reddit. People, people will like that, won't they? Call in the quads. It was so horrible. Looks like he pretty pretty much had to because it was the oh, it he really did. Oh, he needed the one in twelve nine six. It was like his only chance, so he had to play for it. Like he did the right thing, didn't he? Fair enough. He didn't have to get it. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't have to get it, of course, but he had to play it. Like, he just literally had to play for it, because if he doesn't re-roll that, um, it's a guaranteed score, and he's 2-0 down, and he's lost, hasn't he? Well, maybe he hasn't lost, I guess, if he's 2-0 down. But... Hey! <laughs> so stupid. I could have done the safe moves first as well, I and didn't. Right. Burr, burr, burr. What do I even do here? Three, two, I think. The uphill's better than the three, two, though, isn't it? Because it's thirty percent. Failure state's exactly the same. So the, the uphill is better, isn't it? Let me go to Samba. 
and just for my own sanity. Yeah, that's 90%. And the failure state is the same. I guess I could have stood up the wrestler first. Oh dear me. <laughs> I guess I could have stood up the wrestler first. <laughs> yeah, I mean it would have saved I guess going for the Dodgers would have been more likely to save the rerolls, wouldn't it? I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was only marginally better than the Dodgers, so maybe the Dodgers would have been more likely to have succeeded without using a reroll. But ultimately, no, the, the, the uphill is better than a dodge or a down. The thing is, the uphill is better than a dodge. There was no 2 plus dodge. There was no 2 plus dodge. So a 3 plus dodge with a reroll is not as good as an uphill block with a reroll. So the uphill was, was unequivocally the highest odds of working. Um, so, so the only thing... No, no, no. The uphill was 100% the best odds. No, he couldn't. The strength fall couldn't 2 plus dodge, no. He must have done because he couldn't. There was no 2 plus dodge available. Um, but I guess you could argue that somebody else making a 3 plus dodge. No. No, Advert. No, no. It's it's definitely 100% better to do the uphill. Higher odds to do the uphill. Um, however, the thing is, if you do the dodge and fail the dodge, then... Um, like, if you dodge with somebody else, you've still got the ball on a blodger, haven't you? So I guess, I guess what you could have done is, two plus blitz with the wrestler, oh god, maybe, oh yeah, maybe that's better then, <laughs> maybe, that sounds like, that sounds like it was possible, <laughs> that sounds like it was possible. Yeah, but one D is better than uphill, isn't it? And also, it means that the ball's still on the blodger if it fails. Or would it be an uphill? I don't know. We'll have a look afterwards. Oh, he got the pow. He's out of rerolls, at least. I don't know how you get thir nothing's 32 or 36. It was a 3 plus dodge, Adva. Is it 1 in 1? It was a 1 in 9. Is that a 1 in 9, 32 out of 36? Yeah. But you've got a reroll on the uphill. You've got a reroll on the uphill, that's the thing, isn't it? Well, standing this guy up really helped. Bringing this guy up field really helped because now he's there. He could also... He can dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Go scatter. But then... I blitz him. That gets these two out. One, two, three, four. No. I think... I think this is the player here. Now do I keep going for it, because this is now three two-pluses to 
hit the ball without a reroll. I think I'd do it. Woohoo, without a skill reroll, I mean. Now, of course, I have to just be sensible and stand people up. Could have argued I should have done that first. Does he go there? He's quite far from this guy. I oh, can 3D me though. He can 3D me. Oh, phew. I think if he could have only 2D'd, it was better to stand there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to score, yeah. I would have scored if it was called off GFIing. That was a drive, wasn't it? Yeah. If it was just score, I would have just scored. But I mean, that was only 30% of thirty. It was only 70% of st score there. And having the ball in a blodger was pretty nice, wasn't it? It was pretty safe. But I mean, he, he could have probably got the 3D. That was the problem. Oh, I still had the re-roll. Oh, I still had the re-roll. Yeah. Oh, in case that, no, in that case, it was an easy score. Yeah, I would have. Uh, yeah, I would have. I would have done even if I thought if I thought about it. Then yes, I would have done it. But I just did it. I just did it thinking it was seventy percent even. <laughs> Whew. Twelve one three goblins. Amazing. Holy crud. Critical quads failing to win, yeah. Luckily, he is, <laughs> his, his plea in his team name has not been heeded by Nuffle. And he has not allowed any luck with his team, it seems. <sighs> so yeah, it was 93. Yeah, so maybe I could have won day. We'll have a look afterwards. On stream, sorry YouTube viewers, you can you can just pause it and watch it back. But yeah, if the, if I could have done the one D, that would have definitely been the best play then, wouldn't it? Just one D with a wrestler would have for sure been the best play. The problem is, it could still you could still like both down and not be in a better spot. But maybe it wouldn't have been good even on a push. I, I really genuinely don't know. No, probably a push would have been good. I'll have a look. Perfect four-turn stall, yeah. It was looking pretty good for a two-turn until the quads, wasn't it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Mais Bob, au fond, quelle différence y a-t-il entre le bon et le mauvais passeur? Ah, I don't know, I just can't remember the board state now, really. I just can't remember the board state. Et le bon passeur? Le bon passeur? Yeah, it would feel very bad to lose. Nah, I'm not going to even go for 3 nil. <laughs> no, no, 1D, the beast man behind Jelly, also he could dodge back. That that was the, uh, that was the, that was the play that someone said. Which that could have been possible. That could have been possible. I'm not sure. It sounds like it was possible, yeah. In which case, that was clearly the best play. If that was a one D and then dodge back, yeah, that was. That was. That was then. Okay, well, in that case, it was definitely possible. Oop, oop for goal. Foul the DP off the field. Yeah. If it was a one D. DP 
DP off the field. Where is his DP? I mean, there's no way I'm going to find his DP now. Could blitz him though, I guess. Le sang qu'on va se barrer, surtout si le porteur du ballon se fait plaquer. I mean that's got to be better than the uh, that's got to be better than the than the uphill though. Que faire contre un adversaire cornu lancé à pleine vitesse? Tu vises entre les deux yeux. I guess I should have done the uh, wrestle dodge outright and then go for this punch here because then saving him is really good. Or I could have just done the 2 plus dodge away. But I wanted to d dodge him and punch him, but I guess. I either do it first, I'll just dodge away so I don't get fucking caught up on and die. C'est le moment de vérité! Yeah, so there's definitely them to play then was the one day. I guess I could have thought longer than just thinking it was better than going for it. Oh man, these guys could go on. Do something. Yeah, it's better. So the, the team reroll still, Jelly. It was the team reroll. It was better than an uphill. Nah, it was better than the uphill. Sure, surely it was better. <laughs> it works or it doesn't, yeah. Well, maybe you're if right. If you want to be part know. of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh?
Ça sent la bonne grosse au poignard. No, oh, yeah, so, so maybe, yeah, maybe you're right, Jaleel. Maybe you're right. Clever Dino. It seems like it'll be better, doesn't it, though? Like, but I guess the the uphill is just one roll, isn't it? That the the good the beauty of the the beauty of the uphill is that it's just one action, and it's a really quite a high percentage action with a re-roll added. Hey, <laughs> get wrestled, sunshine. If he fails the pick up here, the edge five just passes it to him and scores. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, boo. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, so he goes there. All right, he, he blitzes, doesn't he? He blitzes him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so he has to punch him. There's the one in nine. Classic. Oh, I blocked my path, I could have just gone straight through, not that it matters. Oh, you bastard. Good. Oh man, it's really crap, isn't it, not having a thrower? These throws are so good, you literally can't make a pass without a thrower, man. Feels bad. I've just realised... I've done what I did last time, which is leave this guy hittable with Claw Mighty. Yeah. So do the right thing. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> You could just dodge, but then if you dodge afterwards, then you're still at 88% without a reroll. But it's still not going to be as good as just the straight up uphill, is it? The straight up uphill is just giving you the best chances to score 100%. Like, so the uphill gives you the best pure percentage chance to score, doesn't it? But then there is like the failure states and stuff which, which make differences. <laughs> the lives of many sacrificed to save our drive. No, neither can I. We'll have a look at things. We'll have a look at it afterwards. But, um... That does make sense that it would be... It would be like that. It do be like that, as, as Fort Force loves to say. Yeah, if it's not a riot, <laughs> it's a not. Even if it's a riot, it's still a win. Three nil. It's three nil. Riot doesn't matter. Ha 
Hello, store. Don't say rock. <laughs> Real quick, son. Ah, yeah, more hits on guys. Yeah. Still got the apple open, so it's uh, it's not as scary as it could be. He's only badly hurt, and he's a loner anyway. So. It's not going bad, is it? It's quite Inarian like, isn't it? This team of the old three nails. <laughs> It's a very good run, yeah, yeah, very, very good win rate, to be fair. Like, even after that last loss, it's it's still a good win rate. And obviously, after the Kazas that it's taken, is a bit... It's a bit sad to take the Kazas. But I haven't had one on the real good players. Like, Two stars. I mean, he's kind of a star now, isn't he? Even though he's a bit shit. He's, he's definitely needed with tackle. And the blood step has been somewhat crucial. The tackle has been, you know, would have been crucial when it wasn't on him. <laughs> Get sent off, mate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Guaranteed to get sent off. Woohoo! <laughs> the power of the gym file. <laughs> Definitely can't get hit there. <laughs> Indeed, Jelly, oh yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Nice fail, hasn't he? Because it's gone blue. This is some. This is some glorious elfing. Yeah, lemon. Yeah, the, the, the lizard game was rough, wasn't it? But, uh, that was nice. Should have got some decent money as well. Nope, double one. See, like, it just doesn't feel like. It's re-roll, like this is, last game was a two, like I don't even know if it re-rolls. It wasn't decent money, it was absolute minimum fucking money. <laughs> oh god. Could just buy him I guess. Why not? He didn't get luck, did he? He said his name's some luck, please. I guess, I guess he, I guess he got, he got the quads, but um, he didn't get it with the opening kickoff, just ruining him. Fucking <laughs> Kazinga, Kazinga warrior. Thirteen, thirteen skulls to fourteen knockdowns. <laughs> <laughs> 
و این پشت The GFIs though, 15 out of 15, oh baby. Dodges were incredible as well. So there was some good dice in there. And obviously the, the rock was just insane. Ah, Le Double is perfect. Perfect timing for the guard. Wonderful, he gets blood guard. Amazing. All right. Um, but we need more money. We need more money. So thank God there's a guard. He needs, he needs a cas or two completions or something. He needs like three completions or a touchdown. He needs a couple of tutties. He needs four completions <laughs> or a touchdown. He needs a completion. So like, it's it's on the verge of getting a lot better, isn't it? Um, so it's all right. But a lovely, a lovely little guard there. That's nice. Nice finally getting a guard. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.